Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dropdown.com and in this video, I will be sharing the latest unrevoked Keybox XML file that will help you pass the strong data test. So last time I shared the 6 file, but now the 6 file has not been revoked. So this OnePlus phone is using a 6 file and if we perform a check, you will see that the strong test, I am no longer passing the strong on the device test. So now I will be using the new 7th Keybox XML file and I will share the file with you and using this file. This is a pixel phone. If we perform the check over here, let me show you once again. We are now passing all the three tests. In the legacy check for the Android 13, there is a new step and that will come into effect after the May 2025. Up until that point, the legacy check will work well and good. But still, if you want to pass the new Android 13 check as well, just let me know. But for now, our focus is on the legacy check. So as you could see, this Keybox XML file is now passing all the three tests. As opposed to the earlier one wherein we were failing the strong and the device test but now we are passing all the three tests so in this video i'll show you how to get that job done so first and foremost please only use this file if you really want to pass the strong test as well most of the banking and payment have only requires the device and the basic test and for that you could simply flash the plain negative fix module and get the job done as well there is no need for the xml file but if your banking and payment app requires the strong test to be passed then only use this file regarding this you will have to drop in your request in the in the comment section of this guide and then i will share the file with you so i had also made a guide earlier and in that guide i shared over 2000 files as you could see so now i made a new guide this one and now you have to drop in your request in this guide regarding the keybox xml file and i will share the file with you the last file i had shared was on 15th of feb and then i had to stop because after that the file got revoked and now it, today is 19th of feb and the, I, we have got a new file so i will share this file with you all once you have got the keybox xml file you will have to check out this guide and then pass the test so in short here's what you have to do let me show you once again i made a video on the same as well but still i'll show you once again so if you're using a custom rom then you will have to obtain root so this is the video of obtaining root on a custom rom you could have a look at that Whereas if you are on a stock ROM, you would already have obtained root. Once you are rooted, you will now have to also make sure to root via the Magis Canary build. The stable and beta will not work. Once that is done, get hold of all these modules. And this is the root ma file manager app for this. I am using the solid file manager app as you could see. It's there on the Play Store. And this is the plain integrity API checker, which is required to test off the result, whether we are passing the test or not. So install these two apps are, as well. And these are the modules. And this is the Magis Canary build. So once you've obtained root via the Magis app, you will now have to flash all these modules. For flashing, go to the module section and type on install from storage. Choose the module zip file and flash it. In this way, you have to flash these five modules. Once you have flashed all the five modules, okay, one more thing. You also have to enable Zygis from Magis as well. So from the home section of Magis, tap on the settings icon and enable the toggle next to Zygis. Once that is done, flash all these five modules and then do a restart after a restart you will then have to open the solid file manager app and from there go to the root directory you will get a super user request tap on grant and then you have to go to the data adb tricky store and place the keybox xml file over here so let me show you how that could be done so as of now the file i have placed the file inside the internal storage of my phone this is the file so i have to transfer this file inside the data adb triggers to directory so for that enable auto rotate on your phone from here let's do that and the benefit of doing so is that you could now keep a track of both the internal storage as well as the root directory so let's keep it internal storage over here and this is the root directory so over here let's go to the data adb tricky store folder so now we have to transfer this keybox file over here so choose the file copy it and hit the paste icon here and select new and the file will now be transferred as you could see the file transfer has now been done so once you have flashed all the five modules enable zygisk in the magisk and transfer the keybox xml file inside the data adb tricky store directory you will now have to do a restart so carry out a restart you could do the restart from the magisk itself just give me a second tap on this icon and do a restart and after the restart install the plain integrity api che checker app go online and tap on the check button and after that you will now pass all the three tests so guys on that note i round up this video 
again i'm re repeating you will have to drop in the request on this guide i will link this guide in the video description simply go to this guide scroll to the bottom and use a genuine email id i will mail you the file on that email id so drop in the request over here and for the instruction you may refer to my this guide i will link both the guides in the comment section you may refer to this guide and get the job done i also have a video on the same so on that note i round off this video if you have any queries with regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching